Um, for me personally, I think just I've always been love to just get on the front foot and just you know be better than my opposition, get in their face, nick the ball back off them, higher up the pitch. Um, and you know I feel like the way we're set up, it's playing to my strengths particularly well. Um, like I said, I love to you know try and nick the ball off my opposition, high up the pitch when they're trying to play and and in doing that I've sort of been able to create more chances for my teammates because I'm playing passes further up the pitch like you know as you can see from when Jed gets the penalty we sort of we build it and I'm in a much higher position to then play them more decisive passes whereas when you're playing them sort of closer to your own half it's it's probably backwards sideways passes which just doesn't you know break or expose their back line. I always knew it was a possibility um, with the group of players we had and you know the manager coming in but obviously you never believe you're going to go on such a run we have done um, to be completely honest but you know he's come in and, and we've totally bought into everything he's done and, and you know we're reaping the rewards but we've got we've got so long to go that we've got so much more improving on a personal level as on a team level um, you know it's going to be our biggest test on Sunday against Fulham so we'll, we'll sort of see where we're at but you know it's not the end of the world if we lose or if we win it's sort of the manager's just keeping us on a level, on a level, and you know we'll just take each game as it comes. It was just class. I just felt, but I felt like we deserved it. The fans deserved it. Um, you know they've coming down to Bristol on a cold Tuesday night, and it's just if you just look at there's like a video of all the all the fans celebrating the second goal. It's like still giving me goosebumps. I've watched it about five times. Um, <laughs> It's unbelievable, but they they deserve that because you know they've been through it um, a tough tough time, especially sort of past one eighteen months. Um, so you know that them sorts of nights are what what we want to give to them. We we want to win every single game. Like we're not going into Sunday's game now thinking, oh, you know, we've had really good results. Let's try and get a, a good point against a really good team. We're thinking like, how are we going to beat these? That is just totally our the mentality from the manager. How can we exploit their weaknesses? Um, and I think that's been one thing from the manager since he's come in. He's just been totally like saying, especially to the forward players, you're such good players. Just believe in yourself. We're going to give you the tools to and tell you what to what to do. You just have to go and show your talent and and exploit them. Um, so they're sort of setting us up with that with that freedom. Definitely developed. Um, I think going on loan helped that massively. Um, and then coming to a club like Nottingham Forest, it's sort of swing, sink or swim. You've got 30,000 people in the city ground, you've given the ball away. And I've just built that tolerance over time. Of, I'm just like, I want the ball. I'm sort of got that mindset now, whereas if I give it away, I want it. I want the ball back quickly. Give me it again and let me try again. Um, you know, if I want to be one of the best players in the league, play higher. I need that mentality. That's like an absolute given. Um, you know, you don't see top players hiding from the ball after they've made mistakes. Um, it's as simple as that, really. <laughs>